Welcome everybody who's here. Uh, they, you now can see everybody who's been talking uh, this entire time. Uh, my lovely guests. Why don't we uh, go around the horn here and uh, starting with you, Jim, uh, introduce yourselves and introduce your character. Sure. Uh, I'm Jim and I am playing Marnois, a rogue swashbuckler today. Very excited. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, great, uh, Jake. Uh, my name's Jake, and I am going to be playing Osmos, a Tifling Ro- uh, No, a Tifling Monk. Monk, Monk. Awesome. Uh, Eric. Oh, I'm, my character sheet's broken. Oh no! <laughs> you could be hi, anything hi, at this point. <laughs> hi, I'm a, I'm a paladin. <laughs> human paladin. A and human I'm paladin. Of, of noble noble descent, and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce my first name. It's however you pronounce it, honestly. I'm, I'm like, didn't you make up the name? <laughs> no, no. Mm. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was this is a randomized D and D name that was provided by D and D Beyond. Thank what you. Is, D &D what is what is my name, Dom? Well, now I've got to pull up your character. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this could be problematic, guys. Uh, let's see. You are, um, you are Lodificus. Lodificus Ash Fury. Fury. <laughs> Lodificus Ash Fury. That's yeah, me. I mean it just really rolls off the tongue when you think about it. Oh Ash yeah, yeah. Fury. It does sound like something that like an ointment should clear up though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, got a case of that Ash Fury. <laughs> Maybe Lodificus can help. <laughs> <laughs> If That's you like, can't afford Lodificus, <laughs> maybe your guild leader might be able to assist you. That's something you watch on like the, the History Channel. You get those ads in the middle late at night. Uh, B-Dave. Uh, hello, B-Dave Walters. Uh, I will be playing a bugbear barbarian. Oh, uh, my name's ZB. Me smash is what me do. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Adam. Very nice. Hey, I'm Adam Khan. I'm going to be playing uh, Vanquish Baron. Uh, he's a, uh, a deep known sorcerer. Hmm. Uh, Jared. I am Jared Hoy, and I will be playing Balumo Fastfoot, a halfling warlock. Nice. Uh, thank you, Sarah BC1 and Mad Dr. Dan, for those generous tips. You are helping out everybody in the world fight COVID 19, and you're also helping the channel. Uh, thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Uh, so, uh, what we have been doing here is we've been going through, and uh, I will ask you some trivia questions. And if you get them right, you get uh, 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 inspiration. So you can get up to two points of inspiration. Now, what I need you to do first is I need you to choose a letter between H, L, and S. L. L. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I hope you know your Lord of the Rings trivia. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is open, right? Huh? This is open to everybody. Yes, everyone, players. everyone, yes. So you can all confer amongst yourselves. Just don't look at chat. Chat, don't give them the answer. Oh. I chat. can't look at chat. Chat will break my, my uh, connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who does Aomer say poisoned the mind of the king? Is it Sauron, Saruman, or Grima? Uh... I mean, I, are, are we are we buzzing Grima. in? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah cause the answer is Grima. Yeah, Grima. Yeah. <laughs> is Grima your final answer? I'm going with them. Whatever they say. <laughs> I'm a Grima. Grima, Grima is incorrect. The oh. answer is Saruman. Oh, you always pick Saruman. You got to always go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, well, that, that does that for the Lord of the Rings round. Do you want to pick H or S? Thanks, Eric. Uh, H. <laughs> H. All right. 
I hope you know your Harry Potter trivia. Mm. Better than Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I will roll my Harry Potter trivia die to determine which question. This is pink. Okay. Hufflepuff or garbage, Slytherin are the best. Let me just put the gift. Let's just start with that. I'm right okay. there. That, that's trivia one. There you go. <laughs> um, which spell do the students learn when trying to levitate a feather in Professor Flitwick's charms class? Leviosa. Leviosa. Yeah. Guardian yeah. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. All right. You got this one. Okay. That's one point of inspiration. Woo. Well done. Yay. Now we did move it, into the final round. I did it. <laughs> uh, okay, Jake, I need you to pick a number between one and five. Three. Everyone goes with three. Okay. Now we it's are right playing. right in the middle. It's perfect. <laughs> we are playing Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition Trivia. Yes, this is a legitimate game that came out in 1991 by TSR. Ooh. All right. Six. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Remember, this is second... Wipe everything you know from D&D uh, now and go back in time to second edition. Very easy. How long can a vial filled with oil of acid resistance protect a single man-sized creature? Jim Jim. Jim. Jim I see his face. Nope. <laughs> a, I cer uh, a certain amount of time. Uh -huh. Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm uh, gonna say it's eight hours. Uh, wait, could, could you wrong. repeat? The, could you repeat yes. the question, please? Absolutely. How long can a vial filled with oil of acid resistance protect a single man-sized creature? Uh, AD and D was super freaking difficult. I'm gonna say one d four rounds. It's fair. One d four rounds. Any other answers? No. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I joined in the 3.5. <laughs> uh, do you have the Dungeon Master's Guide handy? I legit was going to be like, no. I think I'm the only one old enough to remember <laughs> AD&D. And I, you know, back in my day, you had to Can roll Shaco and okay. calculate Ben Bar's lift. Uh, turn to page 143. <laughs> oh, this is the players. I'm an idiot. Oh, oh my oh. God. Never mind then. The answer is one day. One, one day. day. That's one day. One it's day forgiving. more. Uh, uh, Jim, give me a number between one and five. Five. <laughs> You're going to go up? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, is those <laughs> the difficulty levels? Crap. <laughs> you are... This is a level five question. And I think we've had this one before on a previous marathon many years ago. Okay. Level five question, AD&D trivia, here we go. Day-to-day -day living in the AD&D game means spending money. Characters usually spend a certain amount of money per month on their living expenses. The amount depends on the lifestyle they choose. About how much will it cost your character to live in typical middle-class style? That's a fun question. Over what period of time? Um... You know, th they make this tricky. I will say over a month. How much a does it cost you per month? A certain amount. Well, mm -hmm. I, I do remember back in those days, like a gold piece was what a commoner made in a year. Yeah. So I'm going to say like five silver, you were balling pretty hard. Right. I'm, 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 I'm pushing like three to five. Yeah. Yeah. Three to five silver. Mm -hmm. Three to five silver. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yes. Approximately 50 gold pieces per level per month. Wow. We were off by a lot. Wow. Uh, it was close, though. Okay, Adam, <laughs> give me a number between one and five. You you will get one, I believe you. Everyone else has gotten one today. You will get one. Well, we already got one. Number you did. You did. Four. This is for all the marbles. Level four. Wow, you guys are just skipping over levels one and two. That's fine. One. Yeah. We, we go big or go home. Come on. I think we're going to go home. Okay. <laughs> home. Oh, I'm actually right. home. <laughs> Last okay. one. Last one. Does an Endure Heat spell offer any protection from magical fire, such as a fireball? If it does, how much protection does it offer? If not, 
Why doesn't it work? Wow, this is such a crappy game. Okay. <laughs> I will read that again. Does an Endure Heat spell, Endure Heat spell, offer any protection from magical fire such as a fireball? If it does, how much protection does it offer? If not, why doesn't it work? I'm going to say it doesn't work. I'm going to say, and it doesn't work because it only works against natural heat, like the temperature outside. Hmm. Yep. I'm going with, I'm, I'm back in Jake on this. Yeah. Hmm. Also, y'all, right. you know, we talk about AD&D with these like halcyon memories. <laughs> Literally, go get the player's guide. That game was so hard. <laughs> There's a reason we don't play it. Uh, uh, so your answer is no, it does not because, and your, uh, your reasoning is because it only protects against natural heat. Yes. Uh, you would be wrong. It does protect you. It absorbs the first 10 points of damage. Sure. Aww. Oh, boy. I am Is sorry. Is it a wizard spell or a priest spell? <laughs> it's a priest spell, I believe. Endure heat. Well, I'm in the wrong section. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yay. You all get one point of inspiration that you can use at, at one point during this game. And it's awesome. Cool. Well done. All right, gang, let's get started. Let's get to adventuring. Let's dungeon. <laughs> you are uh, an adventuring party who ha uh, has been traveling around together for, for a number of years. And uh, you you know each other very well. What I would like to know is, hey, what are you doing right now? What, what are you in the midst of doing? And B, what is your adventuring party called? When people uh, speak of your deeds, how do they refer to you all? Me like ZB and the Z bets, really. <laughs> <laughs> ZB and the Z bets. I don't know. We workshop. You tell me. The mean thing you roll off the tongue at night. Really just threw us in here, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is this is how well you you show your your adventuring metal is how well you you all react to each other. Eric uh, doesn't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> I have to write that down. What's... I'm gonna write it down right now. Ludovicus. I got it. Ludovicus Ashbury. I got my sheet yeah. up here. Yeah, I have my sheet is my by camera. name. <laughs> <laughs> Your pharmacy carries it. Uh, uh, any, any. I'm, uh, I'm sharpening I, my weapon. I'm sharpening my weapons. I'm preparing my weapons, Dom. Okay, okay. Ludovicus is sharpening his weapons, and meanwhile, uh, ZB and the Z bets is apparently what you're all going with. That's what's on the table. Okay. Barbarians are always the leader of the party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spoken as one who knows. Uh, all right, ZB and the Z bets. Uh, you see Ludovicus over to the side, and <laughs> they are sharpening their weapons. What are the rest of you doing at this at this point in time? We find you in the middle. This is this this movie, uh, if, if you want to call it that, Return to Planet Sega Genesis. This movie, uh, we find you uh, in action, in situ, as it as you. Uh, if you will, and uh, what are we seeing right now? Well, I'd be face down in a book, researching ways to get out of my pact, but maintain my powers. Hmm. Okay. I'm cooking a stew. <laughs> <laughs> it's real good, too. I'm good at that. It's what I do. I like uh, it. I, I would be standing on the... the J Jared, what's your, what's your character's name again? Uh, Balubo. Balubo. Uh, I would be standing on on the table. I'm I'm rather tiny. Uh, just stand on the table, looking over your shoulder as you're trying to read, while I have another book trying to reference what you're looking at, seeing if anything <clears throat> makes any sense to me whatsoever. Okay. I mean, I'm a halfling as well. Like, oh. there's not a discrepancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to stand on tables, though. It's all right. <laughs> I want to be seen. I'm little. Uh, Osmos is going to be meditating and checking on his sweet new batch of kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What 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 character did I give you again? Osmos the Tifling Monk. <laughs> okay. It's it's interesting because every party has had a hippie in, <laughs> in it. And it's either a monk or a druid. Anyway, continuing on. Stereotypes are real. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, ZB, as leader of this motley crew, what are you doing? Me finding deep no, me don't understand. We've been outside a long time. Lots of sun is still so pale. Me don't understand. I get like not get enough to <laughs> need more exercise. Me very very confused. <laughs> uh, and you all understand that because you've been traveling with ZB for a long <laughs> enough time that it makes sense. Uh. And uh, yeah, you're just sort of sort. Of, so basically, you're kind of in a camp. I imagine you're camping outside, uh, uh, sort of in midst of adventure, as it were. No. And uh, you are settling down for the night, and you are on a hunt for a wyvern who has been um, basically. Uh, 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 terrorizing the countryside outside of Daggerford, and uh, this wyvern uh, has is known by the name Scar, and you know you've been tracking it for quite a while now, and it has always seemed to elude you when uh, you got the tip that the wyvern was. Um, actually living uh, on a mountainside uh, just outside of Daggerford in uh, the Thorn Peak Mountains. And it, uh, you believe that if you wake up early enough that you will be able to uh, get to the wyvern's nest and, and hopefully catch it unawares and either trap it or kill it if need be. But you will make Far more money uh, if you can uh, if you can trap it and bring it back alive. Uh, a a wizard uh, by the name of uh, Glistenberry has uh, paid you good money to actually come out here and uh, uh, capture the wyvern. And uh, you have a counter offer, however, by the captain of the guard, one uh, 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 Gold Spike. Uh, who is a dwarf who is uh, believes that uh, by killing the wyvern you will free everyone and uh, that is what they are uh, hoping for so uh, that's what you're that's what you're out here for um, but now it's just a time for resting and and perhaps relaxing and maybe regaling each other with stories of old uh, as you as you sit around the campfire. Uh, Jim, give me a survival roll to see how sure. that stew is going. Oh, it's uh, it's fine. Don't worry about the stew. It's good. <laughs> There's uh, it's boiling up real good. You know? Boiling is good. Boiling boiling is what you want. Uh, yeah. So that stew. That stew is is actually boiling, probably boiling more than it should be boiling right now. What what did you get on that? Uh, let's see here, survival. Some for some reason, not actually a skill that the rogue is is especially <laughs> trained in. So that's a total uh, with all of my bonuses of a four. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. It smells Great. good though. Yeah. Oh man, the smell. It smells so good. And and you've been picking up stuff all along the way and just throwing it into the stew. I mean, this is going to be one hefty, hearty stew. Uh, you cannot wait to dive into this. And man, it smells great, everybody. Uh, you know, it dig in if you if I, you so feet see fit. I can't, I can't really smell it. My my seasonal allergies have been really acting up a lot lately. <laughs> and I'm sharpening my sword and I have a sneezing fit and and everyone's like worried I'm gonna get him sick and guys I I'm immune to disease you can't catch anything from me <laughs> it's just the pollen in the air has really been getting to me lately <laughs> yeah but me no Jack you know present the disease you still can spread that's why you gotta be careful 
No, it's, no, it's al. You know what allergies are when you're allergic to something? No. Yeah, it just it, you can't catch it. It's not. I trust me, you're not going to get sick. But I really hope the stew clears up by by uh, congestion here. Yes, no, me catch anything. Me go after. That's what we here for. With me, me catch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you will, you have a little bit in your in your in your beard right now as well too. <laughs> wipe, 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 wipe your face. Wipe. Wipe your face a little bit. Me? Yeah. Yes, yes, you. You're talking about allergies. It's just got you have something like dripping. Oh. Out of, yes, out oh. of your face. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> yes. Hold yes. on. Yes. Who else would I be talking to? No one else is as sick as you are. Disgusting. I'm not, guys, I'm not sick. You know I'm not sick. How many mm -hmm. times do I have to tell you? Yeah. Mm. Uh,. So you are, are you, uh, who's eating of the stew? I'm eating the stew. Yeah, ZB. Same. Okay. Uh, no, no you just... know, you might, maybe you know better. Uh, those of you not eating the stew, give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, those of you eating the stew, give me a constitution saving throw. Damn, you all food. This is will. Be good. Is it against I'm... being frightened? <laughs> <laughs> you might be frightened of what happens next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a 10 for a my dirty uh, 20. Dirty 20, 10. Mm -hmm. a six, 16 wisdom. 16 wisdom. 16 wisdom. 16 wisdom. 16 wisdom. Is, is the DC equal to or greater than uh, the uh, the role in how bad the stew is? Because I, I, I got an awesome five. Five, so it's it's one higher than that four, so that's good, right? That's real good. That's real good. Uh, unfortunately, not good enough. <laughs> so, uh, uh, those of anybody who got less than uh, eleven on this on this roll for the Constitution check, uh, uh, you. Yeah, it, it kind of moves quickly through you, um, uh, and uh, uh, you feel a little bit of an upset tummy. However, uh, I will say that ZB, as you are a bugbear, you can roll at advantage if you want to. Uh, if you, if you, I, I got you a dirty 20. So you got like, a dirty 20, so you When I watch to. them get violently ill, I yeah. eat theirs too. Yes. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Uh, and, uh, so my, my wisdom rollers, uh, you made it. So yeah, you, uh, you remember how well, uh, uh, this stew has turned out in the past and, uh, you kind of make your way out of the camp, uh, so that you are not, uh, subject to what happens later. Um, especially since ZB has eaten all of this stew, uh, ZB is not, uh, yeah. The, it's just his known recipe. <laughs> the 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 smells that are erupting right now around the campfire are 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 enough to send anyone running away. However, you're all fairly used to each other, and uh, it's all good fun, right? Uh, Why do you think I make kombucha? It's good for your gut. It's gut health. And since I've got to eat this food, I've got to have a healthy gut. So. I I look at the cook and I'm like, oh no, that bold choice using the grubs and the tree bark. It adds like texture. <laughs> yeah, we like it. Um, what? Can you, can you explain to me, kind of out of character, can you explain to me why you're all uh, following a bugbear into battle? I want to hear before ZB ZB answers this. I want to hear why you, everyone, everyone's story of of meeting ZB. I mean that's that's kind of pretentious. I mean, just because he's a bugbear doesn't mean you can't follow him. No, absolutely. I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> claiming you couldn't. I wasn't claiming you couldn't. I just wanted to know why. <laughs> my my response is why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like Bulma started following him because he thought he'd die very quickly, and could experience more about that side of things, uh, and then now he's just too vested in the, <laughs> the antics to bother making new friends. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like Marnois was a, a uh, he was working at a tavern and struck up a conversation with ZB sort of against his will at one point. Uh, and ZB decided that Marnois was his friend 
and that they would continue to travel together. And Marnois never really had the um, the wherewithal to say no at any point. And so now just does whatever ZV tells him to do because ZV is very large and he's seen what ZV does to people who do tell him no. Nice, nice. ZV and I um, see eye to eye as far as conquest goes. That's my my oath of conquest. So we, yeah, we talk about conquering and yeah, I. he's good in battle. I trust him. I'll follow him into battle bravely, uh, coughing and sneezing <laughs> along the way. But. Uh, no, v Vanquist actually, he uh, left uh, like the caves that he was living in. He was getting water and this uh, giant humanoid reached down and grabbed him up and said, it's okay, little one, I'm gonna take you back to your mom and dad. Um, and, and, and walked walked me back to back to this town. There was not much I could do about it. I had this giant, large creature caring for me like I was a baby. So <laughs> I look like I'm, what, about three years old. I'm, a, I'm like two and a half feet tall. <laughs> it's okay. Right. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, nice. Um, uh, and ZB, uh, these you you have a motley crew behind you. What what is the the reasoned arch of uh, of this of this uh, adventuring party of ZB and the Z bats? No, see, so me big, which good, right? But then me call me friends, they little, which make me look like me bigger, and it's fine. And then they throw fireballs, and like one of them, he like hit hard. You don't think he, he's small, but he's still punching. <laughs> And so that's where we go out, we fight, we catch things, we make money, we Easter, we do again. It's very rich, fulfilling life. Mm, I see. And that's where the elven interviewer who has come through town to interview everybody about this <laughs> goes, I think I have everything I need and uh, wraps it up and uh, moves on. Uh, uh, good luck on your adventure. Uh, I hope that you find the wyvern and uh, you don't die. And uh, you basically tuck in for the night. Uh, as, uh, is anybody setting up watch? Yeah, yeah. I'll actually, take a watch. Actually, before everyone goes to sleep, roughly how far are we from where we think the wyvern is supposed to be? Uh, you're probably like uh, another 10 miles or so from... So, uh, like, basically a half a day's uh, uh, trudge. Okay, everybody, me got, me got idea. We get a curveball, okay? They think we're supposed to wake up early. We get with her while they're sleeping. But maybe we come in the night and it don't think at all. And then we just get it while they're supposed to be sleeping. Maybe we just go right now. Hey... That. I feel pretty good about this. I think we're going to get, this is the time we get it. We're going to get the wyvern now. We go now. You you seem we're like all... you really need to rest a little bit because you're still stuff coming out of your face. And my feet really hurt. I'm tired. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I can't walk as fast as all of you. Leave me alone. Unless I get to sit on your shoulder, then I'm okay with that. But are we, are we, Dom, are we, are we drained mm -hmm. of of our abilities i mean right now are we kind of well rested or you're, we've had a long day you're well rested you can consider yourselves well rested oh, and and that of, absolutely we're going you stop crying <laughs> about your feet <laughs> yeah, it's okay. hey, ZB, zb says we do uh, yeah. okay. as long as zb like carries me like a child again then that's totally fine okay yeah okay but maybe me get put on a shoulder can mean need both hands for x but besides that yeah okay I'll, uh, can i sit on your shoulder yeah, but every once in a while you gotta do that thing with the peace sign. Everybody laugh when you do that. <laughs> peace sign. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, fine. Onward, 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 onward. For the record, this is a horrible idea. I agree, but I don't have to walk. I'm good. Why is it a terrible idea? The element of surprise is always the best. You catch your enemy while they're sleeping. There's no easier way to conquer your enemy. Yeah, but when you're sniffling, everybody's gonna know exactly where we're at. And ZB ain't exactly quiet. 
No, they're not true. Z be mood like cat when we want you think me dumb, but me do. And I stealth. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bugbears are surprisingly quiet. They are. <laughs> no, it's fine. Me like ghosts. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So is everyone? Everyone is in on this plan. Yeah. Sounds well, like. Why not? Why all right. So uh, you head out into the night, and who has dark vision here? I do. Yeah. Same. Uh. Great. So you, uh, I, I, is Ludovicus, I think, are you the only one who doesn't have dark vision? Yeah, I'm, I'm the only one. Uh, uh, I do not have it. Okay. I just have Lola. Oh, no, I have it. No, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So maybe some torches in the back for, for, uh, for you all. But uh, otherwise, you're moving through the uh, dense underbrush leading up into the mountain. And uh, you finally, uh, just about, dawn uh you make it to the edge of the cave where you have heard that the wyvern uh rests every night and uh you know that your time to strike is slim you don't have a lot of opportunity here because uh the wyvern basically is up at the crack of dawn to wreak havoc on the world um you are just outside of the cave give me a uh uh perception checks please Mm. Um, uh, Osmos has a natural 20. Woo, nice. 16. Nine. Got a Nine. 23. That's a big old five. I, nice. I love that my natural 20 is still only a 22, though. Like, <laughs> 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 Not the highest out of the group. Like, <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay, everyone who got over a 12... Uh, and especially with the nat 20, um, you, uh, get the impression that, uh, definitely something large and something, um, uh, carnivorous lives in this cave. You see bones strewn about, you see what looks to be the remains of, of former adventures. You see a poor city guard who had been ripped in half when he was plucked from uh, his post. You see uh, various uh, dwarves and other uh, uh, creatures' bodies ripped and mangled uh, and laying in front of this cave. Uh, the, the wyvern appears to uh, like to play with its food, as it were. And uh, what you can tell is that uh, the wyvern is still inside. So your your window of opportunity here uh, is presenting itself, essentially. And uh, uh, what I need is a stealth roll from everybody to uh, get into this cavern to see if the wyvern spots you. Perfect. I'd like to whisper under my breath to ZB, like, you really ought to clean up if you're going to have people over. Oh, we're going to go clean up. It's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, I've got, got a 19 on the stealth. And before anybody goes for it, I'm going to say, wait. And I want to collect some of the bones because we're going to need more stew later. <laughs> we need a nice piece. <laughs> To get a couple you of them. You can't do that later. You can't, like, can't we just finish this off first? I, See, I would say, if you, especially since we've been traveling together for a while, you guys know that, like, I hit really hard if I hit first. It's something you all would know about, ZB. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, first my allergies are giving me away. I have, <laughs> eight. I have a stealth of eight. I told you! I'm. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> 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 17, Dom. 17. Uh, 21 for ZB. 21 for me as well. Nice. Wait, wow. is that because you want me shoulder? Can me move crack? You move crack. You not move. <laughs> that That's makes right. complete sense. Well, everyone except for Ludovicus uh, uh, seems to be making it through okay when uh, all of a sudden behind you, Ludovicus just. A, a, you are trying to stifle down this sneeze, but it is just coming up out of you. There's, 
There's <laughs> little little you can do. Your throat is aching because you're just trying to tamp it down. Yes. Just I real just when I hear his initial like uh uh can I launch my surprise attack or is it not? I don't have I don't have a window to do it. <laughs> you want to launch your surprise attack against the wyvern? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh yes. Wait, specifically bugbear ability once per combat if you surprise a creature and hit it with an attack first round of combat the attack deals an extra two d six. So it's like basically if I don't do it now I can't do it but you let me know if it's possible. Absolutely, yes. The wyvern is right in front of you, and uh, right as you basically swing into action, and you hear behind you, almost in slow motion, a ah And as you go to attack the wyvern, so uh, give me, give me your attack roll. Uh, first, I would like to rage. Uh, and then, uh, I, it is a 21 to attack. Mm. 21 hits. All right. So, uh, I'm going to roll my second attack because I have two attacks. The second one would be a 22. That, yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll give you my damage, uh, separately because for now that's it. But I do basically just lay into it twice. Like shablam, shablam. Great. And while you're doing damage, uh, the rest of you notice that the world seems to be disappearing around you. Uh, blue light is is encircling you as ZB is going to town on this wyvern. And uh, these blue balls of light start kind of going up and down your body and uh, things start stretching around you and you feel like uh, you also are being stretched all right what's the damage 32 combined 32 combined mm -hmm. uh okay ah! <laughs> who messed with my kombucha this is not okay <laughs> So you lay into this wyvern and it screeches and uh, it whirls around uh, as as it takes this massive damage on its shoulder and uh, just a, a wing goes flying up and as you look back to your friends, they are gone and blue light starts shining around you too and uh, suddenly you are whisked away as well. Um... Me can come back, there's nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it looks like you are essentially, uh, uh, almost like you're going through a warp speed. Uh, you're, you have not experienced anything like this as, uh, players, but you, or as characters, rather. But, uh, uh, you are, uh, you feel, you look to each other, and you're all sort of in this, uh, tunnel of light, as it were, as you're, as you're flying through space and time, and, uh, you feel, you just feel thin, like, uh, uh you, like you are being stretched apart, and just right when you are on the, the precipice, you, you feel like you're about to be torn to shreds, you start compressing back down, and the world starts reappearing around you, and your uh, body starts going back to normal, and you find yourself uh, what looks like you are in a hallway, and... The blue lights shimmer around you briefly for a moment, and then they explode off of you in a in a concussive force uh, around the sides, and you just kind of hear a thunderclap uh, of of sound as it just echoes down this hallway. Uh, everyone, give me a Constitution saving throw, actually. Fifteen. That's a big old one. Oh, nice. <laughs> ZB. With the, with the modifier, it's a six. Oh. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a yikes. Mm-hmm. Nine. Right, what you put in the stew? <laughs> <laughs> Do one on the die. Well, 20, 20 on the die. 21 modifier. 22. Ooh. All right. Anyone who got less than 14, uh, yeah, that stew is coming up, and uh, uh, you <laughs> can't help it. Especially you, ZB. Man, you ate a lot of that stew the, <laughs> just earlier. Yeah. And uh, it is it is like a continual 
stream of of grubs and bark and uh, random leaves and dirt and other things. Maybe there might be some fungus in there. Uh, a little bit of gelatinous cube that you fought earlier. Uh, yeah, it's all coming up. Oh, you recognize that. Yep, yep, oh, you remember. Oh, such a waste. Oh, no, me good. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, the rest of you, you seem to make it, and you start looking around you, and this is not like any hallway you've seen before. Uh, it seems there's a wallpaper, uh, sort of a red paisley wallpaper, with white wainscoting along the bottom. And uh, along the wall are plates that are held in place on the wall, and on these plates uh, there seem to be scenes of destruction and war and famine, and you see giant teacups uh, uh, attacking creatures. Some creatures you recognize, some you don't recognize, and uh, uh, that's those are the images that are that are shown on these uh, plates. And uh, give me a uh, perception check, please. Or investigation, if that's better for you. That's much better. <clears throat> 16 investigation. I didn't investigate nothing. 16 <laughs> perception. I am an orc of action. Me got two. Me don't care. You tell me when we smash. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there, like, petting the top of his head because he's bombing. Like, oh, hold it, holding his hair back. Like, yeah, oh, please, yeah. bugbear. <laughs> Not orc, bugbear of action, but yes, please. No, no, me sideburns getting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm rolling hot five. So I, I'm still, I'm still kind of got a little bit of the vomit coming up still. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's it's no. hard. It's hard. You gotta, yeah, you gotta uh, keep it down, man. With, uh, especially with all of your allergies kind of uh, uh, coming to the they, forefront. They feel a little better though. It's weird. Yeah, it's it's almost like there's no pollen that you or anything that you uh, yeah. have experienced before is here. Um, if you got uh, if you got over a twelve, you see along the ground. You see a lot of blood and uh, you see some scorch marks, and uh, you see in the corner, uh, you see what looks like a, a bowl of spaghetti, like a giant bowl of spaghetti uh, on the side. Uh, and then that giant bowl of spaghetti seems to quiver, and uh, uh, one of the noodles sort of reaches up and reaches for you, and it says, come here. Nah. No. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> DB, go. Go check that out. Oh, okay. B, I guess. B, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I <just> <laughs> Notes ready. Ready to go. I, yeah, I, I, I literally no further uh, questions I ask. I'm like, okay, me go see. <laughs> Do walk over towards it. With my ex, of course. Uh, so <laughs> as you get closer, uh, this is not a bowl of spaghetti. Uh, this, this looks to be something that... Uh, You've encountered before, um, when, uh, on your adventures in the Underdark, you remember seeing something that's called a flumph, and this looks remarkably like a flumph in, in relative shape and form, however, uh, it is much bigger than a flumph usually is, and the appendages are, uh, end in, uh, what look like spikes, and its eyes are glowing a faint red, and the skin color is somewhat of a dark gray red, although right now it looks kind of uh, uh, pinkish almost. It, it's it's a little pale. And uh, around its mouth, which flumps don't usually have, but this does, uh, it has a a slightly graying goatee. And it's a flump. It's a lovely goatee flump. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do. Huh? Oh, sorry. Please go no, ahead. Please go ahead. Um. Yeah, come, come, you don't look like the other ones. <laughs> and uh, he kind of coughs up a lot of liquid. It doesn't look uh, right. Um, uh, it, it actually kind of smells. It smells a little bit like like a like a, an ale or or something like a like an alcohol of some kind. But um, he coughs it up, and uh, he's uh, you. 
You just, you just came here, right? Oh, my head. Oh, that guy, that, he stabbed me. Oh my God. Oh, and he slowly starts to kind of get up and he uses UZB as a bit of uh, leverage as he starts to hover over, um, uh, over the ground. Hey, me smash friends, the spaghetti, not spaghetti at the front, but I don't think me smash because he'd be nice. I'm, uh, I'm open to suggestions. You just tell me, me smash. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not, uh, why do you always go? I'm not a flump. I'm not a flump. Okay, listen, speed round. I have to catch you up very quickly. My name is Butt Circle, and I am the leader of. <laughs> what? Why? I don't. Cute. It's just my name. Anyway, uh, I am the leader of the uh, uh, the Grumps, and we live here on this planet. It, our, it's called Sega Genesis is our planet. And we are at war right now with a group called the Tea Party. They are trying to take our dire crumpets. Do you need any more information than that, or is that pretty much all you need? I think that's pretty clear, right? So you can join with me and we can try and take out this tea party uh, and then I can like maybe send you back home the way that, that the tea party brought you here or, you know, if you want, we could do it another way, I guess. But uh, choice is yours, okay? But you kind of have to make it quick because I got to get out of here because there's more people coming. Who's, who, who's winning the war so far? Uh, you know, I think we might be. I don't know, we took out uh, two of them at least, and then this guy kind of came out of nowhere and he had kind of a posh British accent, and then he uh, and then he made my friend stab me. Well, I don't know if he's my friend. I mean, he didn't seem like he was particularly cordial to me. I mean, he might not like me. I, I really didn't get the kind of a good vibe from him though, but you know, I think maybe. Anyway, he stabbed me because this guy kind of told him to. And and that now I'm like I'm like okay well who can I trust I don't know if I can trust anyone and then everyone kind of disappeared and went away and and I just woke up and then you guys were here. I'm not I'm not 100 percent trusting him. Would I be able to detect evil? Uh yeah. Can yes. I do that on him? You can. Because I you know I I want to be sure if we're gonna go in and, and fight a battle and conquer someone you got to be on the right side of the battle. Right. Uh, yeah, you get a very strong sense of evil from him. And then he turns to you and he says, wait, did you just like check to see if I'm bad? No, no, no. Like um, I, I know when you try to do that stuff, like I can feel it. Cause I have like some, you know, I got like telepathy and stuff like that. Like I can sort of feel these things happening. No, and, no. Yeah, no, I'm I'm bad. I am straight up. I am not good. I am not a good being. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, yeah, I just will let you know that straight off. That's that's an easy. That's a gimme. But uh, uh, these guys, the Tea Party, they're much much worse. Sure and honestly, if if they if we can't defeat them here, you're gonna have to try and fight them on your planet too. They're basically pitting us against each other. And we have to, you know, uh, what do they say? You gotta, like, uh, team up or whatever. I feel deeply team conflicted up? because Misha Smash, because you say me bad, me smash, but why you tell me you Misha Smash if um, then maybe we shouldn't? I like this guy. I like him. <clears throat> Can I insight? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> what do you want to, what are you trying to, what are you trying to figure out wanna, here? I just want to gauge the, the, the honesty between he, their worst. Okay. Uh, it's only 12. Um, you get the feeling, uh, he seems very earnest, and if he is trying to deceive you, uh, it's certainly not coming off that way. You, you feel that, uh, Butt Circle is, uh, is, is, is telling you the truth, and is, is letting you know, basically, everything. I, guys, I wonder if this is just an evil planet. I wonder if the Sega Genesis is if some sort of just this awful place where everyone is evil. Oh, hold on, hold on. Just because we're evil doesn't mean the place is awful. 
I mean, yeah, we came here and we conquered the, the entire planet and the planet is ours now and we subjugated everybody. But, you know, we leave, we live in relative peace. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong. And as long as we got this planet, we're great. But these people are coming in and they're trying to take our planet away from us and they're sending you and they're taking you from your planet and sending you here. So, like, I mean, you know, what are you going to do, right? Right. Why do they call themselves the Tea Party? Uh, well, they're giant teacups. Makes sense. Yes. Yeah, I mean that makes uh, sense for you. I, 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 I don't know how much clear I can make no. this. They, they are literally giant, floating teacups with tea in them. Uh, listen, we fought one. Uh, I think his name was Iced Tea. Uh, we fought another one, and 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 his name was uh, uh, Throat Coat. And then uh, this last one we fought was uh, uh, the Earl Grey. I'm in. I need more tea for my kombucha. So let's do this. Um, excuse me, Winston. Can we have small team meeting? Yeah, excuse me, Grumpy Man. We just talk oh. over here. Would you one second? Yeah, no, no. This happens a lot. I'm used to it. Um. Hey, you guys, so this is what me think. Me think, you, you tell me because me care about group feedback. You know, we, uh, we are a horizontal leadership structure. But me <laughs> think we go smash a teacup and then if this dude back, uh, we smash them too. So, yeah, why not? That's what me think. Uh-oh, who did we lose? Oh, no, we lost Craig. Oh, Craig, you throw it all Oh, up. no. Oh, no. He did specifically say... <laughs> That if we lost him, his character was dead. So I'm sorry to say that <laughs> just gone. It's true. Uh, he he, he died do. from allergies. <laughs> we bless Craig with a warrior death. Although the, is everybody's cameras like offset? Yeah. 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 So oh, because so, we lost Craig, right? Yeah. So oh, I look. gotta I gotta reset you all here. But Craig's gonna come mm -hmm. back. It's true. Craig, no, Mika, everybody. <laughs> here we can all just lean to one side. <laughs> I don't know which side. Like Will the they moment come that back? you get it sorted out, he's gonna reappear. Yeah, I know. That's that's my worry. But in the meantime, they can't hear us. So I'm like, yeah, I want me think, me think we smash a tea party, and then it just get back and we smash it to a fight. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. your carefully considered plan of smash these guys and those guys is fairly typical, and I think it's what we usually do best. I mean, yes, yes, you're, you're not wrong. Um, I, I would absolutely agree with that. Um, while we're talking about that too, Dom, can I make a history check? If maybe I've heard about any of this sort of stuff before? Sure, yeah. Ah, that is an 18 on the die, plus my five is a 23. Uh, you have definitely never heard of this before. Uh, that's not entirely true. Now, you, uh... You have. You you actually know that there is, uh, and I'm getting this fixed, everybody uh, watching in chat and, and not able to see people. I am I am working diligently behind the scenes to get this uh, <laughs> set up. But uh, you do know that uh, you have back heard. Her back. Ooh. There not we dead. go. Not dead. <laughs> there is. Did we, did we kill the spaghetti? <laughs> No, uh, talking about that. Yeah, you all, you, uh, yes, the spaghetti's dead. Sp the spaghetti's dead? No, you didn't kill the spaghetti. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I Go lied. CB. Uh, CB, wait a I'm second. Here. No, no, no I'm here. CB's there. CB's there. Yeah. yeah, no, me in your heart, you go on. Me be ancestor spirit if I. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> this really, really good stealth check. <laughs> I what? just wonder if these me things told you, have. Me told you, me bugged like ghost. Are we having Are we having a sidebar here? Are we talking about what's yeah. going to happen? Yes, the plan so far is uh, we agree, we go smash the tea, and then we come back and smash this dude too. We need well, to. I mean, if he deserves smash me, say sure. like me, we help, and then he come back, he's like, "Hi, me trick you," and then it's like, "Okay," and then we smash him too. How? My question is, how do we get home? after all this if we if we beat up the teacups and they're the ones that brought us here well we don't uh uh i don't think we know if they brought us here or not uh can i can i interject can i i'm sorry you guys are all having your own thing i don't mean to 
disrupt you making decisions or whatever, uh, but uh, I just want to say, uh, yes, they did bring you here, uh, and they uh, the technology that they used, we can use and get you back. Oh, Doug, okay. you, you say something that was tricky. You say you do this lots of times. This happened all the time. How many people you bring here and you let go help Tea Party fights and they don't come back no more? Uh, uh, just to be clear, we didn't bring anyone here. We would prefer you never came here. Uh, the, when, the last time that we dealt, or rather the first time that we dealt with adventurers, it did not end well for us, and we do not want to have a repeat of that. And so we, we would just rather you not be here on our planet at all. But the Tea Party has brought you here on their own volition as uh, as a sort of a vanguard to uh, to wipe us out. If uh, they figure if you wipe out us, then they will have free reign to uh, take the dire crumpets on their own. I like that none of you have been surprised when I say dire crumpets. Everyone else was really freaked out by that, but you get it, and I, I am with that. I, that's really well, okay. You keep, you keep losing me everywhere else. Who? Uh, there are, there have been. Uh, well, today has been quite a day. There have been um, a number of uh, adventurers that you know were kind of transported here onto the planet uh, using that weird blue stuff uh, that that kind of circles around things, and they um, they, they they came and uh, and then you know they helped us out, and they would defeat the the teacups, and then um, uh, uh, I don't you know we we sent a, a bunch of them here to to come to the to the saucer to try and defeat things, but we haven't been able to connect with any of them since. The The last group was here just right where you appeared, basically. And then they, when we were fighting, when I got stabbed and all of that stuff, they just were disappeared. They just, uh, the blue stuff kind of surrounded them again and they went away again. And then you showed up, like almost I've, immediately I've, after. I've got a very pressing question. Mm -hmm. Whose blood am I standing in? <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah, that was a, uh, that was a phase spider. Oh, neat. At least one of them. I don't know. There might be another one around here. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. Guys, I say, I say we go break some teacups. Let's go break some chai. How hard could it be? Yeah, you guys are in? Up? Yes, I'm, true. I'm in. I think pretty sure ZB will. Yes. yes. Well, let me just say full disclosure because you know trust is earned. We go, we help, we come back. This trip, we have this a trick, we smash you too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Yeah, if I like double cross you, then you will attack me and all that yep. stuff. No, no, yeah. smash. No, like now oh. you say attack, that imply you live. No, you die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got it. Well, I mean, you know, honestly, that's the most fair way uh, uh, anyone has presented it to me uh, so far. Uh, everyone always wants treasure or bread or something like that. And you, uh, you guys just uh, you just want to be sent back home. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Done. Consider it a deal. Yeah. If we Maybe defeat this teacup, too, who knows? We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, and away you go. Uh, so basically there's, there are two ways to go and, um, you can go back. If you look at the blood splatter, uh, where the, where the blood is, uh, splattered to, that is the direction that, uh, uh, butt circle, uh, is imploring you to go. Uh, but behind you is, uh, you see the, the hallway continues into darkness as well. Uh, like, is, it dark, is, is it dark even with dark vision or just uh, you can see far but it, it's this uh, this saucer that you landed on um, you you can see as far as you can see in dark vision and then it just continues in darkness beyond that so this is a very long hallway okay uh, I would like to cast uh, a spell right now uh, I'm going to cast uh, pass without a trace Okay. Um, and I think we stealth down the, the, the hallway. Great. Does that uh, encapsulate the entire party? It's 30 feet around me. Up to an hour. 
Excellent. All right. So you move silently down the hallway. Uh, and as you're walking, you see um, uh, basically nothing but this uh, red paisley wallpaper, the plates on the walls, the white wainscoting, and the floor seems to be a burnished me metallic uh, 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 plate of some kind, and the ceiling is a burnished metallic plate uh, as well. And uh, it's it's weirdly clinical, but also kind of homey. Uh, and you just continue down the hallway. Uh, uh, everyone give me a perception check. Yeah. Now, me really disbelieve this not even happening. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Yeah. Four. I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about that stew. <laughs> I rolled Four. a one. Wow. Yeah. Did yeah. it did anyone get above an 11? <laughs> yeah, 14. 14, all right. <laughs> One person. Uh, Marnois, you see, uh, or you rather hear, um, what sounds like machinery uh, through the wall. Uh, you, that it, you could barely perceive it before, but as you are marching down this hallway, you're getting more and more of, of the sound that, you are approaching uh, or are just on the other side of something that uh, some large machine. I definitely share that information with the rest. So and you all know this. advise they move ahead much more stealthily. So this you, you have only been going for uh, uh, thank you, Smiley the Ogre. That's uh, Stephen Pope. Wow. Uh, thank you nice. for gifting 10 wow. subs. Wow. Thank Very you. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, much appreciated, and welcome all you new subs uh, into the channel. So, uh, you continue down, and uh, Pass Without Trace is still uh, active. You have only been going maybe about uh, uh, 20 minutes or so. And now you can all hear this, this the, the constant rumbling that's going on just to, the, to your left. Uh, there, it's, it sounds almost like a churning of some kind. The and the the hallway just continues on. You're not quite sure if you're close to an end or not. Hmm. Have the doors been, or I'm sorry, the walls been essentially solid panels, or are they like yes. broken up? They they appear to be solid panels. Do you want to take a closer look? Yeah, I'd like to, to, as we're walking, hand along the, the wall to maybe feel for a ray really seam or some sort. Um, give me a, uh, give me a perception check, uh, at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Yikes! While he's How doing that, I'm you. like, any of my magic friends, you do that thing light where you make something glow and it glow a long time. You, anybody, you do that? At disadvantage cost me a natural twist. No, oh, seven. Um, um, yes, ZB, and um, I whirl my hands around. And these four little orbs of light well, pop up I, around us. I have like a rock because I just like carry random knickknacks on me, and I, I need light on a rock. I'm like, can you do? You make glow. I got you. I, I throw it as hard as I can down the hallway and see how long it takes us to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> just okay. like, are we going in circles or like, uh, yeah. are we just moving in place? Yeah, I mean, as far as you can tell, you are going straight. Uh, this, but it could be that it is imperceptibly curving on you. Uh, you have no idea how big this this uh, this thing that you're in is. Um, butt circle uh, goes. Uh, yeah, I mean that's. Uh, that's kind of smart, right? Because you don't, you have no idea how, this thing is big. Uh, it's real big. And like, I don't know how, where we are in it, but I'm, I'm, uh, we're talking, uh, you ever see that movie Independence Day? Anyone? No. No? No? no. Uh, what's, a, what, what's a movie? Yeah. Wow. Uh, boy, we got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, out of character, um, you, uh, uh, this is the mothership, the mother mothership from Independence Day. The one that they had to upload the, uh, the virus to from an mm -hmm, Apple mm -hmm. laptop. 
Uh, it is big, big. And, um... Yeah, we, you know, you're right. We could be going in circles. Who knows? But, uh, I really can't tell. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But that, I don't know that, that we could be close to something like an, like an engine or, 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 or a device of some kind. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm picking that up. Uh, and he, uh, reaches out with, with a tentacle and, um, uh, also is feeling along the edge of of these uh, these panels, but uh, he's like, I don't know if there's a doorway here. Uh, it's it's they have this is pristine work. I mean, it's really nice craftsmanship. Okay, new plan. Me try diplomacy, and I just start banging on the wall and yelling as loud as I possibly can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So you uh, you start uh, banging. Uh, are you hitting it just with your your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. literally, like boom, 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 boom. Ah! <laughs> well, suddenly the the sound of machinery stops. Uh, and yeah, they're, prob they're probably good. Okay. Uh, you hear very distantly footsteps, and they start getting closer and closer. And closer, and Thorn then shields out. Uh, so you you prepare, and uh, on the that where that rock that you threw, it is it is casting uh, a little bit of light, and uh, you see. Uh, let me see. I'm, I'm making sure that we're still up. Yeah, right now. It's, it's it's it stopped for me. It's uh, did we drop completely or? Oh, there no, we are. We're Hi, there. we're back. We're there. Hi, hello. Yeah. It's okay. chugging along. It's true. Yeah, it's 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 doing its best, man. It is doing its best. Uh, yeah. There's, just there's hit... a lot of sex appeal on the screen right now. That is just that chokes <laughs> up the bandwidth, man. Chokes up the bandwidth. <laughs> Hit hit refresh if you uh, if you're not getting us right now, uh, and you should you should be coming back. Um, so you uh, the the light that's being cast out uh, is um, you see a thing kind of coming through out of the shadows into the light, and it looks like a giant teacup, uh, and this teacup has uh what looks like a uh a design on its uh on its face essentially uh that looks like an eyeball and it has multiple teaspoons that are sort of surrounding it almost kind of uh floating around it um and uh it it makes its appearance uh in in this shaft of light and uh it says hey you uh you shouldn't bang on doors like that like it's it's not nice some of us are trying to sleep sorry um, hey can you do that to take evil again you see if they to get bad too yeah i'll get yeah i i check i check the teacup out uh and uh yeah this is this is bad, this is really bad. This I is think he's he's yeah. eviler. He's more. Evil. He's, <laughs> I that's, detect more evil. Yeah, and Butt Circle's like, yeah, I, that's what I was telling you. He's bad. And uh, no, I'm glad he's safe because if he's not bad, me kill you right now. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, if you could just like stay there, and you know, I'll take care of the rest. Can I? Can I just? Can I just throw a javelin? I have a I have a javelin. Can I just take my javelin out and chuck it at this thing? Uh, sure. I'm here to break. We're here to break the teacups in China, and I want to go home. Yeah. If I see him throw the javelin, ZB would throw his net to try and immobilize it. it immobilize okay. The javelin? No, immobilize no. the teacup. <laughs> or both. I don't know. Let's see what the dice I, say. But am yeah. I, is it within my range though? Uh, it is, it is within your range, yes. Is that cool? I mean, I just... Do it! Yeah! I'm talking to this more evil creature, and <laughs> probably not. Uh, 14. 
That uh, does not hit. Your, <laughs> oh. your, your javelin just kind of uh, clinks mm. on the ground, not quite hitting its target. I dropped a, that, sorry. A 23 to hit it with my net, which does nothing but immobilize. I mean, it has a chance to get out. It doesn't hurt. It's, a, it's immobilizing. Yeah, uh, there's a net around the, the uh, teacup. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, we're just trying to take a nap. That's that is not nice. And uh, we're in a combat. Roll initiative. Uh, that's a natural 20. Nice. Uh, 23 with a modifier, but a natural 20. Oh, so leaner and it went worse. That's a four. <laughs> 20. Uh, who, 17. Wait, who who got 20 besides B Dave? Uh, uh, Jared. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Bel Belumo. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jim, you got what? 17. Uh, Osmos Adam? got four. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, go for it, Jake. Osmos got 14. Uh, Venquist got a big old four. Yikes. Uh, 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 Eric, what did you get? Ladavikis got a 12. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, B Dave, you are up first. So uh, I'm going to drop the net stuff in chat just for your ease there, Dom, so you don't have to, like, trek down another thing. Oh, cool. Thank uh, you. So I'm um, I'm going to use my pike in uh, my bug. Since I'm a bugbear, I get an extra five feet of reach, and the pike is a 15-foot reach web. So I'm going to stay 20 feet back because I don't uh, actually understand any of this. <laughs> I'm like, right. <laughs> and just start <laughs> stabbing at it with the pike. Cool. Uh, I'm not okay. going to rage for now. I'm conserving the rage. Okay. Um, with my two attacks are uh, um, a 20 and a 21. Dirty. Uh, dirty, dirty 20 and a 21 to attack it. Uh, yeah, both of those hit. Yep. And I'm 20 feet away from it. I'll, gi I'll give you the damage. Can you send me those dice? Are you doing Are you doing real dice? Or you do it, you're, yeah, you're rolling real dice, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> send, me some, send me some dice like that. Those are some good... Uh, no, yeah, no. This, this is my, uh, yeah. This, 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 this is my, my work set. Yeah, uh, that is. Oh, sorry. Um, eighteen total. Okay. Great. Um, you definitely hit it. Uh, and uh, when you do that. Uh, the teacup goes, oh man, you, you, you really shouldn't have done that. And uh, it, um, one of the uh, teaspoons uh, lights up and it, um, it shoots a beam at you. And I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh -oh. uh, that's not a strength of mine, you know. <laughs> uh, but I got a natural 20, so maybe it is. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, it hits you, but nothing nothing seems to happen. Yes. Yeah, no, they just tickle. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's not what was supposed to happen. Oh. Okay. Yes, see that you try to tag wisdom, but it don't work with me not thinking <laughs> nothing. Uh Jared. Uh just shaking my head to myself. Here we go again. And I'm gonna Eldritch blast the actual tea, uh spoon that shot at Z B. Okay. Ooh, that's not the best. It's a nine on the die, modifies out to fifteen. That does not hit. Alright. Uh, I would like to curse the gods and then uh, probably step behind the paladin a little bit for a little cover. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to disengage and, and try and get some cover behind the, yeah, the paladin? Kinda, I'm going to kind of hide. Great. Maybe. Okay. Hey, hey, running, uh, you know, hiding, That's that won't, that won't avail you. Just FYI. <laughs> 
Uh, and uh, three of the um, teaspoons light up. And uh, uh, one is going to hit uh, uh, ZB. Uh, ZB, I need a constitution saving throw. See, me learn me don't brag because I'm supposed to be good at this, but maybe not. Just see. Um, that's 21. Uh, all right. Um, you, uh, take 18 points of damage, necrotic damage. Oof. Oh. Uh, then Ooh. the next one is going to go after, uh, 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 the, uh, Ludovicus, because you threw a thing at it. <laughs> I dropped it. No, oh, can you pick that up for me? Sorry, I slipped out of my head. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, did you want this? And, uh, it's going to fire, uh, a ray at this, and it will, uh, pick up the javelin, and it's going to hurl it back at you with <laughs> what looks like some sort of ray. Um, uh, does a 16 hit you? No. Okay, then it clinks and clatters at your feet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no problem, man. I just want to be sure we're clear on that. Uh, and then uh, it is going to um, uh, go after. You know, it doesn't like you. I'm sorry, ZB. It really doesn't like you. It's like, no, this seriously, just do this, and everything's gonna be great. And uh, that. A teaspoon that lit up before lights up again and uh, make me a wisdom saving throw. Mm, me think me gonna give my advantage now. <laughs> <laughs> my inspiration, rather? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, 14. That does not do it. Oh, no. uh, mm. So, uh, this hits you, and ZB, you are suddenly, you feel the weight of the world on you and your eyes just lid shut and you just pass out. You are asleep and you will remain unconscious for the next minute. No, this makes sense. None of this makes sense. Me been asleep in the camp and dreaming the whole time. Uh, okay. Uh, that's its turn. Uh, Jim. I will use my action to try to rouse the sleeping ZB. <laughs> hey, man, okay. you gotta get up. This is not the time for sleeping. You gotta get up, man. Great. Okay, so, yeah, ZB, you, uh, you are lulled out of your of your deep slumber, and uh, you you wake up to see uh, Marnois' uh, face. No, I've been having the best dream, and you were there, and you and we smashed uh, you're not, the chicken. You're not supposed to wake him up. He just needs to fall asleep. Oh, man, you guys are annoying. Um, <laughs> Jake. Uh, I'm going to use my movement action to get up to it, and I'm going to punch it as hard as I possibly can. Okay. Uh, so you, you zip forth Dragon Ball Z style, and you go to punch it. Uh, give it a, give it a shot. 19 to hit? Uh, 19 hits. Cool. Uh, and I'm gonna use a, a, a whopping four damage, which is my minimum damage. I'm gonna use Fury of Blows. Okay. Uh, for my bl bonus action. Mm-hmm. Uh, 18 plus six is higher, so that also hits. That also hits. Uh, but better, six damage. So a total of 10? Yeah. Ouch! Oh, oh, God, are you really, is this really going to happen? You're just going to fight me? Oh, okay, fine. Uh, you know what? Give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. You don't understand those words in this context. What you talking about? 17. Uh, great. All right. You, you guys are doing well against uh, these with these saving throws. Very good. Uh, you. I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Um, uh, yeah. All right. So nothing happens to you. Um, all right, uh, Eric. Ludovicus. It, so 
can I can I get up there and just whack this sucker? I want. You Come on up here and hit him with me. <laughs> oh, you're up there. Oh, yeah, you're up there. Yeah, I see him going. Yeah. ZB went down. He fell. Asleep. This is this is making me mad now. Uh, I yeah, I go I go forward. Uh, I can I attack twice? Uh, I believe you can. I have two. I have an extra attack. Yeah. I'm gonna attack this guy twice. Do it. Level five. That's a 19 on the die. Yeah. Plus six. That's 25 for the first one. That hits. Awesome. And I'm gonna. You want me to do damage now or do second? I'll. Uh, uh do do roll your other attack and then we'll add up all see. the damage. Hmm. No, not so good. 14. Uh, attack. yeah, second attack does not hit. All right. So, uh, damage for that first attack is only seven. Seven. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Okay. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, are, we, are we flanking him, though? Uh, there's no flanking. Uh, that's, okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool, uh, cool, 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 no cool, flanking. We're in the hallway, yeah. We're, I feel I feel like I, I'm standing right next to you. I came yeah. in right next to you yeah. and come in. And it's just weird hitting a giant cup. I just, <laughs> you don't know how to, you hit yeah. it and it's a king <laughs> off of it. It's just. You, you kind of, the way that it looked, you expected this to be um, way more uh, fragile. But yeah. it is it is quite substantial. Uh, and rather than the the tea sloshing, it kind of like quivers almost like jello, like like some like it's some kind of like I don't know, like it's gelatinous of some kind. Uh, okay, uh, Adam, is that a visible gelatinous shake? Uh, yeah, you all kind of can see that it's a little a little gelatinous -y. Uh, how, uh, Dom, how many spoons are floating around it? You said there were about three. Uh, uh, there are f four spoons. Four spoons. Uh, I'm just gonna. No, there are five. <laughs> I'm gonna just hold my hand up and I'm. There gonna is no spoon. Fire. There is no spoon. My joke. Spoons are gone. <laughs> um. No, I was I was gonna aim a magic missile at three of those uh, spoons. Okay. So first one is gonna be five points. Okay. Second one is going to be two points, and the third one is going to be two points. So nine total. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. Oh, actually, wait. No. Uh, so you fire a magic missile, and uh, the the missiles immediately fly to their targets, and as they reach the teaspoons, they fizzle. Mm. Mm. Well, that's that's very unfortunate. Nobody else shoot a, a magic missile at this thing. Uh, all right, top of the order, B Dave. Oof. Okay, so near me and this and the gentlemanly approach you failed. That's okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you all attacked first. That's all I'm saying. Mm, no, we bad. We resent it. Fine, we do. We miss smash. <laughs> so, uh, what I'd like to do, I'm still not going to rage. But I am going to reckless attack. So I get advantage on him. He'll get advantage on me. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use the great weapon master uh, ability where I will take a negative five penalty to hit. But if I hit, I get plus 10 to damage. Uh, okay. Okay. So I will attack. Um, does, um, well, 23 hits, right? Yes. Okay. And then. Bam. Uh, three hits. Uh, and then another twenty-three hits. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, I will give you yeah. the. I'll give you the damage. I'm you like Michael Jordan's. This guy's getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah. I'll give you damage, Joe. I just started laying into it. Great. Uh, okay, so that is uh, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, thirty-eight, forty-two. <laughs> 42. <laughs> nice. I told you, I smashed it. What me do? <laughs> I, yeah. sh I really should have made your character for you. I should not have let you make your own I'm character. I'm just a level five barbarian. Like, no optimization <laughs> went into this. I'm a level five barbarian with great weapon master. That's it. Um, yep. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, that was a, quite a substantial hit. Uh, but uh, this thing, he's like, okay, you, that was kind of a lot. All right? I just need you all to chill and not attack me anymore. I mean, hmm. I don't know why everyone sounds like Butt Circle now, but that's just how it goes. Uh, <laughs> it's the Butt Circle of life. It is. It is. Uh, the second time that joke, if uh, keeping track and chat, uh, how many times Butt Circle of Life has come in. Uh, uh, and not just in this game. Jared, you are next. Um, can I... Spellcraft's not a thing. I guess, can I knowledge Arcana to see what deterred his magic missiles. Sure, yeah. Well, I don't wanna, cause it's a seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, Crap, you're like something away. seems to have stopped the magic. Spoon! Well, <laughs> Spoon! For an at will, I will cast false life upon myself and get, get a couple extra temporary hit points just in case. I mean, it's not real. <laughs> gonna be, I'm gonna get seven temp, cause I see how y'all people get beat up. <laughs> uh, and for my actual action, I will try a. Let's see if I can get a. Hold the dead through. It's gonna be a wisdom save sixteen. Sorry, fourteen. Uh, wisdom save fourteen. Yes. Uh. Yeah, uh, he rolls a 13. Yes. Um, and he has been injured? Uh, sorry, they. Uh, they, they yes, injured. they uh, have been injured, yes. So that's going to be 2d12 damage yeah. of necrotic, and it's going to be 15 necrotic damage. 15 necrotic damage. Yeah, you don't like it, don't feel so good. Teacups are immune. Yeah. <laughs> and with my human shields kind of out of the way, I will step behind the halfling as much as possible, or behind the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crouching down a little bit. What? Yeah. Yep. What? 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 What are you doing? <laughs> I'm hiding. Don't worry about it. Uh, cool. Um, all right. It is sleepy times. Uh. Uh. Time. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, Adam, I want you to give me a DC 16 strength saving throw. A strength saving throw? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm li <laughs> Yeah, I rolled a six with my minus one. It gives me a five. Nice. Woo! You are picked up, and uh, this this Ray picks you up, and he then he sees you, Jared. He's like, "There you are! <laughs> Can't get oh, away from no. me!" And then he flings you, Adam, uh, oh, no. to the to the side. And um, uh, let's see, you are going to take. Uh, give me actually, give me a. Sorry, no, you are, yeah, so you are hit, and you will take, uh, you're going to take nine points of damage on that. Wow, for being flung? Yep. Oof. Owie! Look out. Uh, and then, uh, he sees, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you, the guy who was hiding behind his friend. Yeah, I want you to go to sleep now, and uh, the teaspoon lights up, and give me a DC 16 wisdom saving throw. DC 1-6. Die that is rolled very low for me. That is a D12. This is a D20. Yeah, you'll Natural never get 20 it. 20 on the die. Nice. Uh, nothing happens to you. Uh, why don't you want to sleep? I mean, have not, you've been up, like, all night. I can sense it. I can tell. <laughs> I just know. All right, well, you slow down uh, and give me a dexterity saving throw, B Dave. DC so I 16. have advantage if I can see it. So does this count for that? Like, you... do I, am I, I can see that he's casting a spell at least? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's just, yeah, against effects you can, uh, yeah, okay. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, that is a 15. 
Uh, that does not do it. Uh, mm. Your speed is halved for the next minute. Uh, in addition, you cannot take reactions. And uh, you can take either an action or a bonus action on your turn, but not both. Mm. Uh, <laughs> at the end of your turn, you can uh, reroll your saving throw to try and uh, end, the, end this effect. But otherwise, you are slowed. Uh, let's see. That was one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Um, Jim. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll stab. I mean, that's that sounds reasonable. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? So I'm going to get up there, and I am going to stab the teacup. With a natural 20. Woo! Ah, I got Whoopee. him. I got him. <laughs> Great. All right. Roll damage. That means it's got to roll to maintain its concentration, if I'm correct. Uh, there is no bah, concentration bah, bah, bah. on this. Uh, just out of curiosity, because I'm fairly certain, uh, I don't, I don't play D and D a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm fairly certain that with my allies around this creature, I qualify for sneak attack damage. Uh, yes. Hooray. In that case, we're dealing ooh, six, eight, eleven plus five is sixteen points of damage. Nice. nice. And then I got two weapon fighting, so I guess I get to do that again, huh? Uh, yes. Ray. You attack again, you don't <laughs> add your attribute, and you don't get the sneak attack damage. Well, don't worry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the bonuses are. <laughs> roll the two. Yeah. So uh, that was 16 damage that you did? 16 on the first strike, though, yes. Yeah. Great. Oh, you guys... Seriously, if we could just, just hey, it's like sit cross-legged on the ground and we'll just talk it out. I, I have uh, uh, like there's a there's a timeshare I can tell you about. It's going to be great if you could just stop attacking me. I don't. I mean, why? Why would you attack me, uh, Jake? Because you sell timeshares. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we're gonna punch, 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 punch. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, twelve probably doesn't hit though. Nope. All right, second attack. A natural twenty hits though. Nice. Wow. Uh, With the natural twenties. And then uh, I'm gonna um, fury blows with a twenty-two. So I get two out of my three attacks, I think. Yes. All right. Uh oh sh. Um, twelve. Uh, 12 plus 6 is 18. Oh, one of them was a crit, though. Mm-hmm. 22 damage. 22 damage. From punch, 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 Nice. Well. Nice, nice hits. Well done. Um. Yes, a, uh, Eric. So... I see that. That looks, it just looks so easy. So I'm like, yeah, I'm slashing away again. <laughs> slash, slash with my sword. Mm -hmm. Attacking it twice. We got to kill this thing. 18 on the die. That's a, a 24. Nice. That hits the first one. Second one, no. Another garbage roll. Oh. So the first one hits, though. First one hits. Maximum damage on that. That's 11 points of damage for the hit. Nice. I get a good one in there. I was ready this time. Uh, well hit, Adam. Um, so I got flung into the wall. Yes. Um, uh, kind of. I I want to make a perception check really quick just to see if I saw like uh, him making uh, ZB go slowly. Uh, to fifteen. Notice. So I would assume I probably saw what he did. He did to my big buddy. Yes. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to look at him and be like, eh, yes, well, you can play that game. I reach down, I pull out a little vial of molasses, and I'm going to cast slow on him. Um, uh, okay. Wisdom, wisdom 14 on the teacup. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Um, yes. Uh, nothing happens. Oh. No! <laughs> I just sit there and I start stomping my feet. I'm just like, God, 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 oh, it's a 
against me. Always yeah, against me. I hey hey man, like don't even try it. You know, like hey, just rest, little man. Take it easy. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, and we go back to the top of the round. B Dave, you are slow. Now me kill. I <laughs> uh, do the same thing over. Uh, same thing again. Reckless attack. Uh, great weapon master. Okay. Uh, does seventeen hit? It does not. Okay. We got out of a one there. Uh, does a dirty <clears throat> 20 hit? Yes. Okay. All right. So. Mm -hmm. uh, 23 points of damage. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, oh, man. I clearly did not slow you enough. Uh, and... Uh, one of the the teaspoons that has not been lit up before uh, uh, lights up and fires a ray at you. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, do I have a... Uh, hang on, does slow give me a penalty to that? Oh, negative two penalty? Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I do not dodge. Um, you <clears throat> take 55 necrotic damage. Oh, uh, Does ZB that is in death saves. <laughs> <laughs> Does that reduce you to zero hit points? Oh, yeah, I was at 31. You are dead. Uh, <laughs> Oh uh, no, ZB! Oh my God! Um, wow, that uh, okay. The the uh, sleepy time comes out of it. <laughs> uh, really, that okay? That was quite a save from ZB there. Uh, uh, and uh, you all just see this ray go flying out of this teaspoon and hit ZB square. ZB was slow, and and you saw ZB take just this massive blow again on this, and it looks like it's on the ropes, but this uh, 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 beam shoots out of this teaspoon, hitting ZB directly on the chest, and you just see ZB, uh, the skin just sort of disappear, and then... He's nothing. He just collapses. Uh, and it looks like the life has been sucked out of him. And uh, <laughs> ZB is dead. So, can wow. I? So, Sorry. I. Uh, it says here uh, I have an action in combat opportunity attack. Is this, this thing's casting spells? Can I hit it when it's doing the spoon thing? Uh, is that is that a thing or what is what is that? Is that that just... is that is not a thing that you can do to this, unfortunately. Although, if anyone can counterspell, that's a thing. <laughs> I, can, I can't counterspell, but I can reactionary hellish rebuke it. Hellish but it's rebuke gotta... is only if it hits you. Yeah, <laughs> or a creature. Oh, uh, take a response to being. Oh, sorry, sorry, I read that wrong. You're right. You're, yeah. what, but you're me in your heart, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um all right. Uh Jared, it is your turn. Uh I want to run over to where uh Adam Khan's character who I clearly know his name has landed. Uh, <laughs> ben, ben, in ben a feigned effort ben to Quist. check and see if he's okay from falling, but really just to get behind him. Uh, <laughs> and then, hey, buddy, you okay? Yeah, just some, like right here and maybe kind of in between. Did you see what happened to ZB? Yeah, could you just... Uh... And then the question I have is... Uh, oh, that's... Is how big is this, this cup that we're fighting? Uh, it's, it's, it's large. And with ZB down, could I pop a 20-foot radius spell in a position to not hit my parties? Uh, you're trying to center it on, on... I'm just trying to get him in the radius, not necessarily centered on it. Uh, yes. Yes, you can. All right. Well, then I would like to cast Hunger of Hadar mm. on it. Opening a gateway to the dark between the stars. 
The void is filled with a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises that can be heard up to 30 feet away. Uh, the void creates a warp in the fabric of space and time. Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed in a dexterity throw or take 2d6 acid. Why are you trying to kill us, dude? Well, you're not in it. <laughs> oh, I'm right next to this cup. That's well, a... Could, like, drop it on the far side of it, though. Yeah, where, yeah. Like, oh, so, okay. like... That's a uh, spell that you have? Yes. Yeah, nothing happens. <laughs> I knew I should have went with my other plan. Uh, I hate this planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it is its turn. Um, oh, oh, man. Oh, shoot. That was the, uh, you were just supposed to go to sleep. Whoops. Whoopsie doo. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, now, if you just want to, like, sit down. No, no one wants to sit down. You're still attacking me. Man, what was that, a void? Jeez. Almost got me with that one. I mean, you can't, but you almost <laughs> did. And, uh, I want, uh, Jared, I would like you to make a, uh, DC 16 wisdom saving throw. Ooh, I sure don't like that. Uh, I'd like to, to use an inspiration. To you can you can reroll with inspiration if you still have one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, B Dave should have used inspiration. I'd already used it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, the first oh, yeah. roll was a seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and and use it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wisdom. You yep. say it's a sixteen on the die, and I'm adding a modifier of zero. Well, you did it. Very good. Nothing happens. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, hey, you, the, the guy with the javelin thingy. Uh, please make me a DC 16 dexterity saving throw, Eric. Oh. <laughs> We're fighting a giant teacup beholder. This is the best. <laughs> how, does, how, does a, how does an eight on the die... That's all I get to. An eight on a die. Um, <laughs> that doesn't do it, unfortunately. Um, uh, you take 45 force damage. Uh, yeah, that's... Does that reduce you to zero hit points? Under zero. Okay. Um... <laughs> Dom, have you, just... you CPK'd anyone today? So Dom, no, Dom, no, you, you guys. Me... You're about to. Is this 12 hours of pent up regression coming out? <laughs> uh, so... It's it's okay because I become a player after this. Um, anyway, yes, Eric, what uh, you are hit by this ray. It is a uh, slightly pinkish ray, and it. Uh, uh, basically, it envelops your entire body, and when you saw the ray hit ZB, uh, you saw him start to kind of uh, the the his skin sort of kind of disappear before he flumped over, uh, flumped. <laughs> anyway, uh, you get hit by this ray, and it just like uh, in Mars attacks when uh, they just turn into a skeleton and then disappear into a fine dust. That's what happens to you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are also dead. <laughs> I was I was second in command. Oh no! You guys, ZB wanted to get the the hierarchy of this of the Z bets into into place, and this was all to combat this. Uh, and uh, he's like, wait, oh yeah, uh. You, the one who's been trying to, like, uh, 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 cast things on me. Um, hey, make me a dexterity saving throw. Ah, uh, cool. Well, I'm a gnome, so I have... No, oh, no, I don't. Dang it! It's intelligence, <laughs> wisdom, and charisma. <laughs> Ooh, come on. Come on, dex. Yeah! Hopefully that's good. That's going to be a 18. That is good. Yes. Woo, yeah. yeah. Uh, Scoop to the side. Whatever. Don't dodge happened. too much because I'm behind you. Yeah, well done. <laughs> uh, okay, Jim. So two, two of your compatriots have just been obliterated. So I watched them both just 
basically be disintegrated. Mm -hmm. There's a void right in front of you. Well, one and there's was a void in front of me that's doing nothing to the screen. <laughs> yeah, one was clearly disintegrated. The other one is just dead, uh, lying lying there on the ground. And uh, without uh, skin. Yeah, without skin. Uh, but uh, and yeah, there's a void kind of happening around this creature, but uh, it seems to be not affected by it at all. So, uh, Martin Wah says, "Excellent! Now we can now we can strike, <laughs> and I will rush Grump and attack him twice." Oh, you're gonna you're gonna rush <laughs> butt circle? Yep, butt circle. Sorry, butt circle. You Jim Jim. Oh, the teacup. Now we can join forces. <laughs> I will attack butt circle twice. Okay. Uh, the first one is a uh, nineteen. Yep, that hits. Okie dokie. Uh, that'll be five points of damage on the first attack. And the second attack is... Oh, that's off the table. I'll just re-roll it. Uh, only a 12. Uh, 12 does not hit, but the first one does hit. <laughs> that butt circle of life, man. <laughs> oh, man. I was just going to welcome our new teacup overlord. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Oh, sorry. I, I had already... Uh, I had rolled damage before. It was five, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Um, butt Circle uh, has clearly already been hurt, and you uh, stab out and, and uh, knock Butt Circle back. And he looks at you like, What? Why? I thought we were friends! Man! Oh, God! I mean, as far as I know, you can't disintegrate anybody, so I'm, I'm choosing my side. <laughs> oh! Is that what you think? And a, a tendril goes to his head, and as a reaction, he casts hell Hellish Rebuke on you. Okay. <laughs> like you do. Uh, <laughs> and let me see. I don't have Hellish Rebuke up for me. Quick, Here, tell me... Yeah, tell me, Jared, what does Hellish Rebuke do? Hellish Rebuke does. Uh, but you point your finger at a creature that has damaged you, momentarily surrounded by Hellish Flames. Does 2d10, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw, halved on a save. It is fire damage. Plus 1d10 per the spell level he cast it at. Correct. Mm -hmm. I can only cast it one level. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm good at dexterity saving throws, but I only got a 14. Uh, that does not do it. Right? What did you say? What, wait, what was the, uh, uh, sorry, did you uh, say it, what the DC was on that? It is, mine's a 14. It's based off the creature. Yeah. Oh, it's, you're right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, we were it. supposed to attack Butt Circle. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, okay. Um, so let me see, how much is that going to be? Let me get my D10 out here. Damage increases by 1d10 for every spell level. Okay. All right. Uh, that is 22 points of damage. Yikes. I, I still have skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're on fire. Like, your skin's going to burn off. I can't believe you double cross actually I can kind of believe that you would double cross me but you're the first ones to do it this sucks uh okay uh Jake uh, I'm gonna keep punching the dude I'm at <laughs> yeah dance with oh, the girl what really brung you on everybody to back up my play here uh, 19 for the first hit natural no one for the second charge uh yeah, so so uh, I hit once. Uh, okay, uh, you hit once. Give me your damage. Nine damage. Nine. Mm. Nine. Only hit point that matters is the last one. That's right. Uh, all right. Um. Uh. No, Eric's dead. Um. Adam. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry. See that like he uh, the, this teacup thing tried something to me. I'm like moving around. I got I got Jared right behind me. I see I see sniffles go down as well too, and then I see Jim just dart back and start hitting spaghetti monster guy. Um, so so yeah, I'm just and I'm gonna shoot a fire bolt at uh, at butt circle. Yeah. You're shooting a firebolt at butt circle. Fire All right. Firebolt attack at butt circle. That is a, a yes. Uh, that's going to be a 19. That's a hit. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's that was crazy. <laughs> that robot. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, that's 3d10. Uh, that's. 12 and uh, 13 points of fire damage. Describe objects will ignite if it's being worn or carried. Describe describe it. You have defeated Butt Circle. (laughs) So uh, I I just reach out. I'm looking at the big teacup. I see Jim go running. I just go, yes! Valero my hands. Boom, shoot out this fireball. And it just goes and it hits him square in that... uh, that goateed mouth of his, and just, it, it, like the hair's on fire, and you just see it, like the inside of his whole mouth just blow up in flame. Yeah, and he just explodes in what smells like, as far as you're concerned, uh, a beer or ale of some kind, and you are just covered in this stuff. Uh, give me a uh, constitution uh, saving I throw. I wish I would have taken prestidigitation. Oh, I can do that. Dun, 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 calm. Oh, I was on a 15, and then it rolled over. That's a 13. 13? That is not enough. 12. Oh, Oh, okay. Still not enough. Still not enough, yeah. Um, uh, What if it's 11? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Can I interest you in a 10? Um, uh, Yeah, so you are covered in this stuff, which... Uh, just infects your nostrils and causes you to double over and you are uh, you feel immediately ill and sick and you are um, just you're you're out of it right now you're gonna you're gonna have to take some time to sort of recover from from this feeling of of ill at ease essentially Um, all right uh, top of the order B Dave is dead Jared, uh, I, 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 what is what is T what is this T holder doing? Uh, is is trying to fend off what you were doing, but if you're attacking the uh, the thing, I mean, he's just like, listen, we can still be buds if you want to be buds. I mean, you just took out that guy. Hey, let's call it, you know. Uh, I want to move behind my rogue friend. Uh, and I would like to cast silent image of some sort of holy scone or whatever he was talking about floating over the corpse of Butt Circle. The Dire Crumpet? Yes. The Dire Crumpet, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, you go to cast this and, um, nothing happens. You're nerfing me, Dom. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry! This is just what happens! Well, that was an at will, so cool. That's good. That's good. Uh, I will uh, hold. I will ready in action that if the T holder attacks, I'll drop a Eldritch Blast at him. At the teacup? Yes. Okay. If he if he attacks when it gets to his turn. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the, he's still up and he's like, are we cool? Are we cool? I mean, I think we are. The crumpets are yours, my friend. Okay. We're all teacups now. (laughs) Okay. That's, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, okay. All right. And he uh, bangs with the the handle of the teacup and he bangs on the side of the wall and the wall shifts open and you see a massive 
machine, just gears, uh, gears the size of a small uh, uh, ship are, are spinning and turning and you see flashes of blue um, that emanate from this uh, from this machine that that are it, it appears down uh, towards kind of the center of the machine where you see a small platform and these uh, these gears are are moving and sink and and as it sort of clicks into place like a clock uh, uh, a blue light goes off and um, he says all right uh, yeah you know uh, uh, thanks a lot for this. Sorry, I was going into butt circle. He's dead. Uh, <laughs> Gross. He says, yeah, I know. You killed butt circle. Um, uh, yeah, so thanks. Hey, it was great working with you all. So I'm just going to send you back uh, to the surface right now to kind of take care of some other grumps. If you don't mind, that would be great. All right. See you later. And he hits a, a button on the side and blue light circles around you again. And you are transported to the surface of Sega Genesis. Uh, and you are surrounded by grumps wielding spears. And that is where we'll end it with you. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, okay. So here, here's, here's, yes, you were basically fighting a beholder. Um, uh, it was just one beholder. I almost added some phase spiders on top of that, but uh, I, I, I thought, no, let me tell you, you got uh, sleepy time, sleepy time T. You got sleepy time T down to 27 hit points. Oh, oh man! Uh, if it's I, on you. If I did I not, feel like we still won. <laughs> if I did not, if I did not get uh, B Dave out of there, <laughs> uh, you would have you would have easily killed me next round. Um, uh, so that was that was quite impressive. Uh, but yeah, the uh, you are now under the service of the teacups, and you must do what they say. Um, and, uh, that means fighting a lot of grumps, and I don't know if you will be able to make it through that way with your two heavy hitters out. Uh, actually, yeah. Game's I the don't... heavy hitter now. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ludophagus. Ludophagus <laughs> Ash Fury's allergies are better. I know yeah. that much. You are, you are. Because you're uh... the ash that everyone else is sneezing at <laughs> over now. <laughs> Now you know how I felt this entire time. Uh, uh, well, I want to thank you all for for joining me in this. I, I will tell you that uh, so the in the first session they fought an adult white dragon. Uh, in the Ooh. second session they Ooh. fought uh, uh, they fought a cloud giant and a roper. Uh, in the third session they fought a master of cruelties and two phase spiders. Uh, and then Jeez. you had a beholder. So how many kills, um, kills you have, dumb? Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Technically, uh, technically three. Um, I'd, I'd technically like three. I'd like to pioneer new territory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> technically, technically three. Uh, uh, as as Aki's goblin character um, uh, fell and was. Uh, fell in battle uh and the grumps promised to heal uh their character however what they did was they ate them uh, <laughs> because that's that's what grumps do uh but no one knows that uh so thank you for joining uh me uh the next session uh of this begins in about a half an hour and this is where you in chat all of our subscribers will now be running and they will be gming uh, the game. So uh, this is going to get really interesting really fast. Ooh. So I am super looking forward to that. But before we do that, let's say goodbye to our friends here. Everybody, uh, let's go through and tell everybody where they can find you. Let's start with Jared. Uh, uh, across all the socials at Jared Hoy down there. Uh, I am over at Dragon Things on the Dat Network here on Twitch. Also my own Twitch channel, uh, the real gobshite, uh, and if you are into podcasts, Bedlam and Discord, Stark Raving, Bad, uh, Pathfinder podcast. Woo -woo. Awesome, uh, Adam. Uh, some of the same stuff as Jared. You can find me over at uh, Dragons Things Dat Network. 
Uh, also on uh, Bad Podcast as well, too, and through the social platforms, you can find me at Azerold1, A-Z-E-R-O-L-D, number one. Nice. B-Dave. You're muted. B-Dave Walters, you Yay. can find me anywhere. <laughs> People will let me say words on a camera. Uh, I am uh, DMing Dungeons and & Dragons of Dark and Wish Thursday nights on uh, Twitch uh, D&D, uh, Beyond Heroes, Wednesday afternoons, and D&D Beyond. Uh, I will be running a one-shot for Chris Perkins, uh, Jeremy Crawford, uh, that bronze girl, and Ember Moon on Thursday. We'll be doing a level 20 game. Um, mm -hmm. And... Uh, anywhere that I get to play vampire. So twitch.tv world of darkness <laughs> and on uh, Q times for long beach by night. Nice. nice. Eric. So I'm also on the dat network. Uh, we have, we had the shows on Tuesday and Friday before the world ended. Uh, but I'm Craig son of Horace across everything, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And I've even started streaming on Twitch myself. I play some video games. You could, see me play at cracks on a horse you can play with me mario kart and super smash brothers and now rocket league which i call carball <laughs> <laughs> nice jake uh i'm jake uh i i run q times which is very similar to saving throws and we have tons and tons of shows uh i gm a pathfinder second edition game called court of corvids and i play in dave's game long beach by night but uh if you like educational stuff on youtube uh which is uh, Q Times Main. Uh, we actually do a weekly uh, Pathfinder Second Edition educational show. So, like going over each class and all of the the different aspects of the game. So we do that, and we just finished the Oracle, which is their current new like playtest class. Awesome, Jim. Cool. Uh, I am Evil Jim Jam across Twitter and Instagram. I am also the GM for Dragons and Things, as yeah. everybody else has talked about. Uh, and even though Dragons and Things is on hold until we can get back into the studio together, we are doing a stream on the Dat Network on Monday night. So Monday, awesome. if you want to come check and see see how we run things, you can uh, head over to twitch.tv slash the Dat Network. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you all for for coming by and thank you for doing this. I know you all were, were busy doing a lot of things today because you're awesome. And uh, I think that you are fantastic. And, and thank you so much for playing with me today. Oh, thank, thank you, us, man. Hey, that was my first for having us. In all right. Years, that was my first beholder. <laughs> Technically, it was your first tea holder. And I think it was all of our first tea holders. <laughs> Get shirts made. Awesome. All right. Uh, I will say goodbye to you all. Goodbye, everybody.